um, you know, when our album came out, and uh, it'll be a 20-year anniversary, and I think that would be what triggers us. Now, we can't go with all the members, because one member physically is not here, but hold on. He's scared. That's door. right. But here go, here go his son. Peace. Boy Jones, first born son of ODB, you know what I mean? Got the jeans in him. Yeah, I've been doing all right, you know. RZA, you know what I'm saying, the Abbey, he's been putting me on to a lot. You know, I, chess, I just lost in the chess game. He beat two people in a row, so, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, At the same time actually. Same like, damn time, huh? Yeah, so, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm good today, you know, it's a beautiful day. I, I kind of feel like you also carry the passion of your father as well, because the mannerisms that ODB carried when he was on stage was, like, beyond anything else I've seen since, like, Tupac. And I kind of feel like ASAP Rocky picks that up now, you know? You know? So, and it's... That's I need to catch him, actually. i never seen him perform, you know what I'm saying? He made a song about my pop, so I need to catch that, too. Dude. Yeah. A lot of people are comparing Danny Brown to your dad. Oh, Danny Brown, you know what I'm saying? I need to check him out, too. Really? <laughs> so, I'm under the weather, you know what I'm saying? They, they flying. So, what are your plans for the future? I know you're out here with Wu-Tang, but yeah. you personally... Personally, as an artist, Boy Jones is, you know, gonna continue the legacy. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep that alive. We got the hair and everything. Yeah, it, it's very vital right now. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fly. It's all right. I got it through the rubber bands in. The girl the girl was actually too lazy to braid it, so she just popped the rubber bands in it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. All right. How are you feeling to rock the bells? This uh, is your first year, right? Nah, nah, not my first year. You know, last year I think I hosted it with RZA. All thanks to him, once again. Here. Yeah. Like I said, I'm here for Rock the Bells. I think I'm going to be here every year. Keep Shane, if you keep it going, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see you have your own opening act. Yeah, that'll be popping. Um, soon, actually. Very soon. Uh, I mean, first of all, um, we're real proud of the up and coming town like ASAP Rock and their whole crew. Right. You know what I mean? They're from New York, too. I know, I know, I know. Look, he came to my house and, and we, we talked about you know his energy. Um, um, and it, it has been some people that compare some artists to ODB. And that's because there's a hunger for his music. Right. But I can say that he embodies it. You know what I mean? And, and and a lot of people a lot of people thought that ODB was do, you know doing what he was doing maybe because he had a drink or something. No, no. It's in him. Right. And and I never seen it I never seen it again until I seen it in him. And he's sober as a priest. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he just has this natural thing. So I'm glad that the people out there is looking through looking for it. They may find it in other artists, but when they want it pure. Come get it right here. We got it. We got it pure. It's the best place you could get it. Right from the bloodline, baby. Exactly. Exactly. Right from the bloodline. I definitely want to thank both of you guys for talking with us at hiphop.com. Um, thank you very much.